I gotta tell you, I had a very strange morning. I mean, for me, I'm a disabled person, and I am kind of sort of, what I call a routine kind of person in the morning. I got my stuff that I gotta do, A, B, C, D, the whole thing, it's gotta be done. And yet, I have a particular way in which to do these things. And because of my disability, my, my ability to better with my tongue, but my abilities have changed. So with the assistant lady that comes out to help me Monday to Friday, she had gotten used to doing certain things too. So when things change, it can get pretty dramatic. I know a lot of my disabled friends can relate to this, but about a month or so ago, I was teaching my attendant how to adjust the height of my armrest. So, you know, when I do certain things, for example, say I want to brush my teeth, I got to have her raise the armrest up a bit so I can put my elbows up and reach my mouth a lot easier without having to bend down and kiss the table or the sink, depending on where I am. So it took her a while to get used to that idea, but she's getting good at it. Well, we all know as a disabled person that communication is key. And unfortunately, I only know one language, and that's English. So, when it came time to teach her all this, which she did understand, she got the hang of it, I start becoming very comfortable that I may not even say what I used to say in the beginning. With a very clear, precise wording, so that there would be no misunderstanding of what I was asking for. So, you know, I would tell her, okay, can you put my armrest up a hole? So, up goes the armrest. And then when I'm done doing that task, I'll ask you to put the armrest down. Well, this morning, I don't know what possessed me and why I said what I said, but you will understand the trauma, oh, the, just the big stress, the agony, and the whole reason for my bad morning was simply because I said, can you drop it down a hole, please? Oh! <laughs>